Hello, Internet! Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Sunshine. That's the last little intro movie we have for this game, and it will only play once per loading the save file. So I just wanted to show it before we actually get into what we're doing today. In the last episode, we sort of finished up... Well, we did finish up, like, the main story missions for Pianta Village. Before Shadow Mario somehow managed to make scalding hot rainwater fall on Delfino Plaza, and so we followed him into Corona Mountain. We're not going to be following him all the way through Corona Mountain yet, but we did collect all the blue coins in there, so at least we don't have to worry about that later. This time, we're going to actually be finishing up Pianta Village. Let's start. So, you may have realized that there is only one secret level here, and we did not get a ninth shine uh, before blue coins and hundred coins. That is because the ninth shine sprite can only be obtained in episode eight. We're not going to be exploring or talking to people here because... I think it's pretty obvious that there is an event going on here, and uh, we're going to be coming back to do episode 8 of every level all at once later. And I say later, but it's honestly pretty soon now. We're coming very close to the end of this LP, and that feels surreal to say. Uh, as of recording this, I think according to my notes at least, we're ending on episode, what, 36? So, yeah, we're getting very close. In order to get the Shine Sprite, we're going to want to climb these, uh, little platforms on this tree. I don't know how, but I don't think these grow on trees generally, but... I guess it depends on the- like, these look like they're, like, mushrooms, I guess, so fungi can grow on trees. This rocket nozzle box will only appear here in Episode 8, however, it is actually possible to climb to the top of this tree in other episodes using, uh, very precise wall jumps. <laughs> I'm awful at this. I have not actually climbed this tree since the last time I, like, let's play this game, so we'll figure it out. Uh, do I just... No, I need to get higher. Uh? Let's see. Maybe I can rock it onto a leaf? No, it's too high up. Okay. Well, let's figure this out then. <laughs> okay, I think I see the intended way is just to use that swing to get to that cloud. Uh, but this was worth a try. If you find yourself needing to refill water in uh, this level, you have to go all the way to the hot spring. This is the only water source in all of Pianta Village right now. Uh, and there is a red coin in there, so... <laughs> We'll be careful not to collect that, because we aren't doing that right now. Alright. Let's do this correctly, hopefully. <laughs> Using this swing, just push yourself up to get onto this cloud. And there's another cloud above us that we need the rocket nozzle for. And once we're up here, we can just rocket onto this leaf. I was making that a lot more complicated than I had to. Looks like we do need to grab one red coin, probably. I'll try to avoid it. <laughs> Once you're at the very top of this tree on this platform, even if you get up here in other levels, this will not work. Only in episode 8. Spray the sun. Until this low-res PNG of a shine sprite will just appear. This... Okay, so this isn't as stupid as the one in Gelato Beach, because I'll never stop talking about how stupid that one is. But... There's one NPC in all of Pianta Village who will hint at this in their dialogue, and otherwise you had to read Nintendo Power. I feel like that's enough said. Also, nice one in the cutscene. It is the funniest number. Next up... We are actually pretty lucky here. I will go ahead and say Pianta Village has not only the easiest 100 coin mission in the game tied with Noki Bay, but also the easiest blue coins in the game, so yeah. 
This is going to be pretty easy. The best episode for this is episode five. Right off the bat, you can see what I mean. <laughs> Look at these mushrooms, man. They are covered in coins. And not only that, but, well, I guess I'll have to wait to actually show what I'm about to say, but not only are they covered in coins, if you ground pound them... Not this one, apparently. Okay, well... Game's trying to humble me. If you ground pound them... Okay, not that one either. If you ground pound them... A ton more coins. <laughs> this is, like, ridiculously easy. These coins do despawn, but, like, it's not at all hard to collect all of them, so... Yeah. Just make sure you ground pound every mushroom to check for coins, just so you don't miss any. But we're already at almost 50, and we haven't even been in this level for, like, an entire minute yet, so... We're good. <laughs> Looks like only that first mushroom I ground pounded actually gives you coins for it, but still. We're at 60 coins, and we have only explored the village underside. <laughs> Obviously, always collect the two free 1-ups, too. There's, like, two more 1-ups down here that are on the sides of those trees. You can go for them, but they're very tricky because they require the use of the hover nozzle. But, of course, as soon as I said you can go for them, I'm gonna try to go for them. Uh, maybe not that one. That one's a little scary. <laughs> so, with 60 coins collected, let's head into Pianta Village! If you head over to the hot spring, there's obviously a beehive there, and we will be coming back for that because that is the source of a lot of coins. Check all the boxes, I- yeah, none of them give coins, but if you ground pound this Pianta statue's nose, there is a blue coin that I managed to avoid, surprisingly. It's pretty hard to avoid that one. That brings us up to 69 coins exactly! Perfect, nice! So I've broken just about every box in Pianta Village now. Turns out, for some reason, none of them give you coins. But that's fine, because now we are on to the coins we can get with Yoshi! Had to throw them, at, throw them to him just once. On Yoshi! These beehives. After four subsequent, like, things of ju five. Okay, maybe I need to get closer. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, all of these bees, except for the last one you eat, will give you coins. The last one will give you a blue coin. Uh, so I'm being careful to avoid that. Uh,. Sort of just let them hit Yoshi. One of them just got caught on Yoshi. Yoshi has a force field. Good for him. Okay. Let's just eat that one. Uh, Yoshi just has weird glitches related to getting off of him at, like, weird times. And... Yeah. There's one called Fruit Storage where you can just give Yoshi a fruit permanently, pretty much. Uh, we killed all but one bee, and that bee used its magic powers to create a new beehive instantly. If only it was that simple in the real world. Bees would have it a lot easier. I see a crate I missed. Please have a coin. It would have been so funny if only one had one. <laughs> Last but not least, there's these bees over under this tree uh, that you should be careful of because they are over a cliff. But there we go, 91 coins, and obviously, spray down the beehive. Get them away from the cliff. And then just eat, 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 eat. Okay. There we go. By far the easiest 100 coin mission in the game. Like, I'd honestly, I'll say even easier than Noki Bay once you learn about the coins on the mushrooms down there. Because... Okay, these bees are gonna knock me into that blue coin before I can get the shine. <laughs> uh... Whoa! 
God, their flight patterns are crazy. These guys should join Star Fox. They fly through things too. Like, Fox can't do that. I mean, kinda can, but that's just Nintendo 64 game jank. Damn it, collected 101. Yoshi, no! Yoshi abandoned me to the last B! <laughs> oh my god. This has been a war to collect the shine. Collecting the shine, ironically, was harder than making it appear. <laughs> Alright. It's time to collect the blue coins, and for once I'm not dreading it. It feels nice to not be dreading it. We're going to be starting with episode 6, Pianta's in Need. There are some coins you can only collect in daytime missions, some you can only collect an, in nighttime missions, and otherwise they're all in every level. I personally recommend starting with Pianta's in Need just because there are eight blue coins you can get from saving the villagers here. So, yeah. Let's get those first, and then work on the ones we can collect in every episode. Alright. Made sure to make, like, actually clean off all of them just so the timer would actually stop. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to all the adults and get eight blue coins. That's the second one. There's a third one. Number four. Number five. Number six, if this guy wouldn't toss me away from it next time, please. Number seven. And number eight. That's all the ones you get for saving people. So for the next one, we're going to go all the way back to the starting point. <laughs> Not to collect the shine spray, but because there is a blue coin over here. If you spray this M behind where you start in this level, blue coin. In the center of the village underside, there's this M floating slightly below the ceiling. <laughs> I think they probably got the Y coordinates a little wrong on this one, but if you spray it, you still get a blue coin. <laughs> so I died trying to get out of the village underside, so I'm just gonna collect the rest of the daytime and all episode shines in Chain Chomp's bath. Because the Chain Chomp doesn't actually pose an issue unless you free it. There's this structure in the village that has M graffiti on it. Obviously spraying it will get you a blue coin. Is this wall near the hot spring? Spraying it gets you a blue coin. You'll all remember this massive tree on the left side of the village from the entrance. We used it to cheese this stage pretty heavily. And over there on this leaf, there's a blue coin. I don't like how slow Mario's move. Yep, I knew he was gonna slide. <laughs> At least I could tell. Blue coin. <laughs> On top of that, on the left side of the village, there's this blue, well, tall grass with a blue coin in it. The grass isn't blue. That's the music that plays in the slide levels in 64. In this flowing stream, well, it's flowing at night at least, there's a blue coin under this bridge, and another blue coin at the very end of the stream. So near the hot spring, there's this triangle graffiti. And I think you know what that means. It's time to hope I can get to it on time. Because I don't remember if this one is difficult or not. <laughs> it's not. And obviously there's one for the reverse as well. I might have missed it because of that bonk. 
Nope. <laughs> that one is very generous. At the very top of the tree, we had to race ELP and TCMO on. Don't remind me of my performance there. There's a blue coin. <laughs> at the very top. If only the flag were at the very top, I would have won. Remember this hole in the side of this tree that I mentioned earlier? If you spray it... From not here, apparently. Hello? There we go. Have to spray it weirdly precisely, I guess, but there is a blue coin in there. This is the only one that's only in daytime episodes. If you spray this signpost... Blue coin. From here, the rest of them require either night episodes or specific episodes, so... Exit area time. There are some that you can only collect in Episode 3, so we're going to be using Episode 3 to collect all of the nighttime shine sprites. For your own reference, if you're not playing along exactly, or you're just watching the Let's Play and you might play the game on your own in the future, please God just collect these red co or blue coins at the same time you're actually doing Episode 3. Save yourself the pain. Because I did just die again. You know what they say. Fourth time, well technically fifth if you count the failed attempt when I was actually trying to show this way. Fifth time's the charm. Once you get Flood, just spray this M directly beneath him to get a blue coin. Down below here, if we spray this goop away. Somewhere in the immediate area. There is just a giant ass M underneath this graffiti, but it gets sprayed away so quickly that we didn't really even get to see it. But just know that it's huge and it's under the graffiti in Episode 3. Last one that's exclusive to Episode 3 is for putting out the fire on this guy's back, so... Hopefully he learns from the guy in Delfino Plaza and doesn't set himself on fire again. There we go. I think I almost found another clip, but <laughs> that one would have been even less useful if it worked. Uh, so apparently this is only in nighttime episodes, but ground pounding this Pianta statue's nose, blue coin. I don't know if the coins are also nighttime only, but I think they are. Last one that's episode 8 exclusive. If you stand on this golden mushroom and spray the moon, blue coin. Shine for the sun, blue coin for the moon. I'd reverse it personally, I think the moon is better. Obviously you get one for eating all the bees from the beehive near the entrance if I can manage it, but they keep knocking me off and then rebuilding their beehive. There we go. Blue coin. There's another one for eating all the bees near the hot spring. If you get on this mushroom near the fruit tree, there's a bunch of blue co blue butterflies, rather. Wish it was a bunch of blue coins, that would be way easier. Eating all of them will spawn a blue coin. Oh, would you look at that? The guy did and got himself set on fire again. You love to see it. You see it. I know you saw it. I wouldn't have it any other way. The final blue coin in an actual world in this game is for spraying a bluebird. <sighs> but at least it went down easy this time. This is not the end of the rivalry. But we're close to winning this war. While 90 shines and 30 blue coins is a very satisfying thing to look at, we're going to go turn in those blue coins now, obviously. <laughs> Hello, Tanuki guys. I almost said Tanuki Tom, but you don't have a name. That's a good name, though. You don't say. Welcome, welcome. I suppose you're here for that. Mm, yes, very good. That means I will require 10 blue coins from you. I can exchange those for shine sprites. I'll give you three, yes? Would you like to? I definitely would. Really? You truly mean it, yes? No refunds? Yes.
With all that done, I want to take a look at the total screen. So, we have 93 Shine Sprites. We are not done quite yet. We still have episode 8 to do in Bianco Hills, Rico Harbor, Gelato Beach, Pina Park, Serena Beach, Noki Bay, and Pianta Village. As well as a few more Shine Sprites to collect around Delfino Plaza itself, and even one more at the Airstrip, if you can believe it. Next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we are going to begin collecting coins... Coins? No, Shines in Delfino Plaza. <laughs> We're going to be collecting a lot of Shine Sprites at a time per episode for the next few episodes, just because the ones in Delfino Plaza are pretty simple. But it should still be a pretty fun time. It's just going to be shorter episodes for a bit. See you guys then.